All right, we're even closer to the kickoff of the UTSA Roadrunner season. Just six Saturdays between now and the trip to Houston for the rematch of last year's Classic in the Alamo Dome. Jeff Trailer and his guys will head to the Metroplex tomorrow for American Conference Media Days. They're moving to that new league with much improved competition, but still, the Roadrunners are picked to do very well. Most preseason experts have them second behind defending champ Tulane. And the push is on to pack the dome for the home opener. Now, this is in week two on September 9th against Texas State. We want you to get your tickets now at GoUTSA.com. The Roadrunners have six home games, uh, conference home games. These are the four in the new conference. UAB is here on October 14th. East Carolina comes to the dome. So does Rice in South Florida. The Roadrunners also have Texas State and Army at home. And oh yeah, Houston to Tulane and Tennessee on the road. So here to talk about the schedule, the roster, and more is the man himself. UTSA head coach Jeff Trailer is our insider. Well, you know him, you love him. He's the coach of your Birds Up UTSA football and football season is back media day and tomorrow. First of all, coach, happy birthday, man. You're, you're playing, you're trying to catch me, but you're never going to. Well, I hope not. <laughs> I hope not. <laughs> I know you guys just celebrated a birthday. Lots to celebrate with UTSA football. And you're going to media day tomorrow with Frank Harris and Rashad Wisdom. Talk about deja vu all over again. This seems to be like, like professional football players. You've been doing this with those two guys for a few years now. I guess it's pretty consoling to have that kind of veteran leadership that you know you can count on. I remember last year uh, we flew commercial and I was already starting to uh, negotiate uh, to get them to come back again. I'm like, hey, next year we get to go to the <laughs> AAC for media day. Uh, what can I do to make sure I'm with you two again? And immediately Frank and Rashad, well, we want to fly private. <laughs> and Rashad wanted a statue outside the Alamo Dome. And uh, I told him I'm still working on the statue, but uh, thanks to Harry Levy, he got us in his private jet, so we get to go to Dallas in a private jet. So I, I did my end of the deal, Rashad and Frank. Things are looking up for UTSA football, flying private to media day. And you know what? You guys are going up to the AAC. I was a little surprised. I know what you got coming back, but I was still a little surprised at the amount of respect that you guys are getting. I think it's a real pat on the back to you, 16 all-conference preseason players. Are you surprised that people are taking you guys this seriously? Um, we have so many good players. I mean, it starts with our quarterback, Frank Harris, returning. You know, JT, when he gets healthy, he'll be back out there. Josh Cephas is returning all-conference player. Mikhail Hart at right tackle. Kavorian Barnes at running back. Oscar Cardenas at tight end. That's just on the offensive side of the ball. We have a punter in Lucas Dean, who's a very good ball player returning. You go to the defensive side of the ball. Some of my guys didn't make. Uh, who's better than Joe Evans and Brandon Matterson and Brandon Brown? Now defensive tackle and Jamal Liggett at linebacker. So, you know me, I always think my players are the best ones, and I'm a little disappointed we didn't have more on defense, honestly. You had so many guys out in the spring. Kavorian didn't go in the spring. Frank didn't participate at all. Oscar, those guys rested, and that was for a reason because they had surgeries and injuries. Do you see everybody pretty much full speed other than JT Clark coming into camp? Well, even JT's going right now. It's just a matter of what I'm going to allow him to do in practice. I would expect everybody else to be going. But, you know, we might have a red jersey on JT. Uh, he might get treated like a quarterback for a little while. Uh, but he's up and rolling. I mean, if you were to come look at him, he'd be like, he's ready to go. I'm just not going to put him out there until I know he's really ready to go. What a testament to him. That was a horrific injury. I mean, we couldn't even look at the video. It was so bad. For him to be back this soon, I thought it would be three or four weeks into the season. Yeah, he's a freak. Now, he's a very different athlete. And uh, I can remember, you know, if you come to my office, you can look out my window and see the practice field. And I look down there, and this was like in March or April. And I see him flat-footed jumping hurdles. And I ran down out of my office as fast as I could and said, JT, are you supposed to be doing that? He's like, Coach, I feel good. I'm like, I don't care. That looks dangerous as heck to me. I'm going to go talk to our training staff. And they're like, no, JT, don't be doing that. Well, he's a, a fantastic athlete. You've got those receivers coming back. We lost Zakari Franklin to the portal. But Kavorian Barnes, I thought last year, had a breakout season. I think surprised all of us uh, in the season that he had. And you've added – 
to that running back room, some great recruits. Do you see the recruiting paying off as early as this season? Oh, yeah, for sure. You know, the, the room is just so much deeper. Now, we lost a really good football player in Brendan Brady out of Cibolo. Uh, but we feel really good about the guys that we brought in. Uh, but we're excited about Kavorian. We also feel really good about, you know, Taki Kellogg graduated. And he's coming back again. Uh, Chris Carpenter was a freshman last year and really made a lot of plays for us. Uh, our recruits there, we're, we're a lot deeper than we have been there. So uh, we're excited about a lot of those kids. Defensively, you mentioned Trey Moore, you know, as a freshman All-American. And uh, we talk a lot, you know, it gets brought up a lot about the one we lost, but we also need to celebrate the seven that we kept. Yeah. I mean, we had seven kids with eligibility that could have gone other places for more money. And I'm very grateful for our collectives. What 210inspires.org has done, 210 City Fans, Run, Runners Rising, those three groups have been huge for us. Obviously, none of our kids that stayed made as much as they would have if they would have gone to the places that we're trying to get them to go. But we need to celebrate Oscar Cardenas and Kavorian Barnes and Trey Moore and JT Clark and Makai Hart and obviously Frank Harris. Finally, I want to talk to you about your schedule, your move up to the American. Everybody knows you got to go to Tennessee. You got to go to Houston in week one. Got Texas State to open the season at home. You got Army again. But this AAC conference, when you start talking about East Carolina and the other schools in this temples and the other schools in this conference, how much does the win over Memphis early in your career, the way you played at Texas last year for three and a half quarters, how much does that give you guys confidence that you can play with anybody in this league? Well, it goes even more than that. I mean, our very first year, we're driving down the field to beat BYU in a, in a holding penalty, which was legit, uh, on the game-winning drive. You know, might have cost us the ball game. The very next year, you go beat Illinois. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we played Texas all the way to the fourth quarter. We didn't have the depth to stay with them. Uh, you know, it's, it's kind of been the story here. As long as we've been here, our kids have just fought their tails off every stinking game. And I would expect nothing different. We, we, we believe in ourselves. We, I know it, it might come across as cocky and brash and maybe, I don't know what it comes across as really, but I, I would imagine our opponents get tired of us raving about our 2-1-0 triangle of toughness and us raving about how all our players are so great. But we really feel that way. We really believe it, and our plays backed it up. I think it's great that you got all these guys that people know, and I think the push is on to be there at Texas State for the home game. Go to Houston for the opener, but then make sure we're packing the dome against Texas State on September 9th. I know they're making a big push to see that. Coach, uh, again, congratulations on all the past success and we're looking forward to another great year man 41 days out see y'all in houston birds <laughs> up jeff trailer insider